So, dear friends, today we're going to talk about how your vision can worsen when something isn't quite right with your neck. Take a look here. You can see that this young man's eyes are more or less aligned at the horizontal midline, just like that. When he's standing still, they're level. When he turns his head to either side, they stay level too. They are still aligned at the horizontal midline, and that's a good thing. When we turn our heads, our eyes also participate in that movement. There are several muscles around the eyes. Some move them upward, some downward, some to the right, and some to the left. Now, we're talking specifically about turning. There are muscles involved in moving the eyes during a turn, and other muscles that turn the head itself. So this young man is lucky, really lucky. His eyes are on the same level. They are aligned with the floor. Everything's more or less fine and his vision is good. He's a solid candidate, fit for service in the Kremlin Regiment. But this one, you see, one eye is higher, the other is lower. One ear is higher, the other is lower too. One ear is pushed in, the other sticks out. That's why this one's sunken. And here, you can see, it sticks out more from this ear. See? When he turns his head, look. He's still standing on the floor. Both of them are standing on the same floor. Right now. On the same surface. Though it may look like this one's on a slant, right? But no. They're both standing on a flat surface. But this one is standing in a way that makes him tilt like this, right? And the other one isn't. When he turns his head, it tilts and his head is at an angle like this. For example, one eye is higher, the other lower, and he turns his head. He keeps the same angle when he turns. And usually, for people like this, it's easier to turn their head to one side and harder to the other. When they turn their head to one side, one eye ends up higher, the other lower. It's like the head tilts this way, the whole frame shifts, and then when they turn their head to the other side, they tilt that way instead. So that tilted position stays the same. Now look here. This angle of rotation matches how the muscles are able to turn the eyeball. So the eye also turns like this, you see, along with the head. And the muscles, they stay positioned like that, right? They're working at the same angle, you see, right here. So his head turns at that same angle. The muscles also try to follow that movement, but the angle doesn't match the center line. So when he turns his head, this one here, his eye still appears round. Most likely, it is round. When we look straight ahead, let's say, the eye is round, or close to it. The pupil is in the center of the eye. If we look to the left, for example, the pupil moves left, it shifts over here. It's still centered, just moved to this side. And what about this one, this guy here? Let's say he's also looking to the left in the same direction. How will it work for him? He looks straight like this too. He's looking in that direction. His eye will appear over here. You see? Right here. But the one with good vision, his eye muscles all work correctly. The right one activates when it should. Now, this is simplified. There are also oblique muscles, and they're attached differently. But the idea is to help you understand the concept. But with this one, you see, these two muscles start tensing up right away. So to move the eye in this direction, his eye moves like this, 
and the other guy's eye moves like this. He has to twist it over, here and here. So yes, the eye muscles are also involved when the head turns. How do they participate? Not just when you need to look in a certain direction, right? For example, when you need to look somewhere, the head turns and the eyes follow. But they also work when the head turns and the eyes stay fixed in place. That movement happens in one smooth motion. When we walk, the head or the nose shifts slightly from side to side, but the eyes stay focused straight ahead. If the head tilts during that movement, the eye muscles have a hard time. They tense up, the shape of the eyeball can change, and that affects vision. And most likely, not in a good way. I think it can also affect hearing, but that's a topic for another time. There's also an interesting phenomenon. The eye muscles tend to stay in a similar tone as the muscles under the tongue. <laughs> Here's a simple test. Place your fingers right here where the base of the skull ends and the neck begins. Now move your eyes from side to side. You'll feel a slight movement in that area. It is very subtle, but it's there. These muscles contract to help your eyes move up and down. You can feel the tension there too. And that tension might not be symmetrical. It varies. These muscles work together with the eye muscles. So, that's what's going on. So what do we do about it? How can we fix it? Everyone knows about eye exercises to improve vision. Moving the eyes from side to side, training the muscles. But sometimes, you shouldn't start with those exercises right away. If you try doing them and feel tightness at the farthest point of movement, if your eyes feel strained, or if you even get a headache, then it's hard to keep going. In that case, it means those exercises aren't right for you yet. You should start with something else. Pick a point in front of you, focus on it, and start turning your head. You turn your head while keeping your eyes on that point. As soon as you can't see it anymore, stop turning. So you turn to one side, then to the other, to one side and back again. The muscles are working the same way. It's as if your eyes ended up in the same position they would be in if you had looked in that direction. But this way, it's easier on the muscles. In fact, it's one of the best ways to train the eye muscles. So again, turn to one side, then the other, back and forth. This helps your eye muscles start working in sync with your neck muscles. If the movement is still uneven, if one muscle is more tense, one less, one eye is higher, the other lower, then this exercise will help gradually correct that. This is the first one you should begin with. The second exercise, pick a point again. And now, move your head up and down while keeping your eyes fixed on the point. You do it the same way, only as far as you can still see it. So now you have up, down, and right, left. Two directions. If you do this for 30 seconds to a minute, you'll feel it right away. Your vision may get a little clearer, your neck might loosen up, and your eye muscles will relax. In general, the weather will improve, and maybe even life overall. You'll hear the birds singing, your speech will clear up, you'll start talking more smoothly, and you'll stop stuttering. So, friends, if you want a more detailed and complete version of the exercise, you already know it's on the channel. The link is in the description. But this one is also helpful for those who want a quick start. So friends, give us a like, leave a comment, and see you next time.